What's up guys, the May Patreon rewards are now available. Cyclonic Rift, Jace the Mind Sculptor, and Avison Angel of Hope are all available through the end of the month. If you'd like to support our channel and pick up these sweet proxies, you can do so at patreon.com slash it resolves or by clicking the link in the description below. What's going on guys, welcome to part two uh, with this mono white kind of life gain aggro style deck list. Um, very, very cool new cards incorporated with this one. Uh, Cub Warden in particular, very, very good in my opinion. Uh, we're seeing it do a lot of work. Uh, if you did not see the first video, please do check that out. We we go over the deck list a little bit more um, so you can kind of see why we're, why we're playing what we're playing, uh, but also kind of see some of the new cards. Uh, actually, both of them are here. Um, I can't keep this, unfortunately. That's just not a fast enough hand. This I will keep. Uh, I kind of think it's one of these guys that we toss back. I'm gonna ta I'm gonna put that back. Um, I don't like doing that, but these two are very, very powerful, um, and I think we're looking to upgrade as quick as possible. This also enables very, very well the Pride Mate, um, regardless of what they played. Uh, if it didn't have flying, we'd be able to get through it. So that's why we're doing that. Uh, next turn we get Linden. Sure. Ooh, Daxos is good too. Let's get Linden out first though. And go ahead and attack him. It's five damage coming in. I like that. Cool. Um, and you can see how quickly this deck can take off. Uh, I don't think in the first video we really saw it do, you know what it truly wanted to do. Um, but this time around, we're, we're getting there. Uh, reach, trample, or haste. So it can't get anything this turn, which is great. Um, let's throw a 5-5 five five out there. Uh, we're going to put the counters on this. Seems pretty good. We're going to pile them up here, that way, um, I mean, this is the thing they're not able to block easily, we will say. Uh, so if they want to keep playing stuff, they have to leave a green open. That's good, but not going to do it, I don't believe. Now they can't give this reach, so there we go. Quick win. Um, we can see how quickly this deck can take off. That was really great. Yeah, we, we enjoyed it. That was a fun match. Um, oh, sorry, guys. Frame drop. There we go, we're back. Uh, let's jump into game two. This is going quick. Um, I really like the feel of this deck, I will say. Uh, Cub Warden, we didn't get to see played there. Lurus, we have not seen do anything so far. Uh, though I do imagine there are plenty of times where it can, so I, I see why it's in here. Um, but Cub Warden, man, that card is sweet. I could 100% see that as like a four of. Um, and maybe that's a little bit too high on the mana curve, because that is, I mean, 4-drop is top of the curve for this uh, list, so maybe that's skewing us a bit high. Excuse me. Um, but I do think it's quite good. Yep. Uh, let's get this guy out there. Start getting some counters on him. They can block this, it's fine, we still gain the life. Ooh, tapped land. That always feels bad. Oops. Help collector, huh? That's pretty cool. I mean, unfortunately we did not get uh, another land there. I was kind of hoping we would, but that's okay. Let's do this. Get two bigger threats going. Let's hope we can outpace this deck. Uh, these Gruul decks can be pretty mean, though, I will say. Target land. Oh, yeah, Destiny Spinner. Okay. Well, that's fine. Land is good. Yeah, let's play Heliod. If they want to double block one, that's kind of fine. Um, I'm going to take this guy out, actually. I care much less about the Pelt Collector, because we're going to start out outpacing it very quickly here. 
Let's get a counter here. All right. We do lose the Heliod as a creature. That is worth noting. But next turn, you know, we drop any creature and we can get there. Uh, if we get a land, we can drop a Johnny and really go ham. Uh, sure. I don't know what this deck is exactly trying to do. This is a bit of a... I've not seen this before. I've seen Pelt Collector and Gilded Goose, obviously, but Destiny Spinner I've not seen in Constructed. Um, but that's, you know, the nature of sometimes jank decks on the ladder. Uh, that's okay. All right. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Let's get you out. Um, left two mana open, huh? I think here we're going to spit this out. We'll just attack all. I'm not super worried about what they may have. They can sacrifice this and gain some life. I don't want to put it on this, but I'm going to put it on the Hawk. Sorry for the frame rate, guys. Um, I know we're having some issues. Our network has been garbage lately, so every time I get into a game, it likes to uh, kind of freeze up a little bit. I do apologize. Here they can take out a Johnny if they want. It doesn't really matter. We do lose this, but, I mean, we can we can certainly do something about that. Looks like we got it. Yep. Very nice. Very nice, very nice. Awesome. So again, we're seeing the aggro potential. Um, I think against... the What's cool about this deck is you can kind of play a bit of a different role, which you always should consider this, but uh, we get to play a bit of a different role when we're on... or depending on the matchup. So if we're against like a mono red list, mono red definitely faster like they're going to deal more damage quicker uh but if we can one for one their threats uh in the early pieces of the game gain just a little bit of life back and keep enough gas in our hand we're able to kind of take it back over because we do have so much life gain that it's a little bit easier for us to crawl back into it than i would say some other decks uh that are more aggro focused um because we don't while it's not good for us, obviously, to get super low in life, it never is. Um, it's not the worst thing in the world for this deck in particular. Um, so I do like that quite a lot. Uh, yeah, I like this hand. Doesn't have the Pride Mate, which has been a big all-star for us, obviously. But looks like another jank deck. Um, let's play the Hawk. Interesting, interesting. It's like a hasty deck. Not gonna block here. Let's get Daxos down. I'm sure they've got ways to fight, uh, so that's not gonna be great for us, but uh, it does kind of burn the spell, uh, which I think we need to do. And then we do, have, of course, have Luris in hand, so if we'd like to replay, Hopefully at some point we can. Not gonna block. All right. Uh, do we want a Heli out here? Yeah, I think we do. We'll attack with just the Hawk. I think we'll put a counter on the Hawk, too. Um, we're not quite out of fight range, uh, so there is some consideration that we should have put the the counter on here because uh, the Domri's Tactics or whatever is the card that we worry about against these Gruul decks. Uh, and so a lot of times they'll throw a counter on here and then fight something. Um, and so that is a bit of a worry. Uh, but I, I also kind of imagine if they had done... or if they had had that, they would have done it last turn because it is a three-mana spell. Um... Wow, that's very good. They can destroy this. They can't destroy this. Yeah, that was just a misclick on the opponent's side. They didn't quite understand how that worked. Um, they can't... They can't destroy this. Um, huh. 
Again, I'm going to be very safe and not block here. Um, just trying very hard not to risk too much. Uh, we're going to be able to gain the life back, so I'm not super worried about that. Whoops. Uh, yeah, there. Let's play the Luris, actually. Um, I think I just attack with the Hawk. And here we even up the, the game a little bit, which is great. Um, mm -hmm -hmm. I'm going to keep it on the Hawk. I don't know if that's 100% correct, but uh, we kind of need to keep this from killing us at some point. So um, this is going to deal us enough damage to gain enough back to mitigate this completely, which is great. And we just have this as like an indestructible blocker, which is pretty good. I mean, the great thing about having a card with indestructible, so you don't have to worry about a lot. Um, sure. Does, I don't believe this actually works. Oh, okay. So we're going to get some damage dealt to us here. This does not die, though. That's fine. Um, huh. Let's get you out there. Gain a life. Get you out there. Hmm. Hmm. Let's just do this. Find your inner strength. We'll put the counter on this to again kind of mitigate some of this damage. Uh, let's attack here. They are tapped out, so six, six. That's twelve. Um. Hmm. No, I'm not going to attack with everything. I was thinking we could do, you know, a bit of a different run here, but I don't think we will. <clears throat> Let's keep ourselves from losing just so much damage uh, with our indestructible. Very good card. Yep. So here, I kind of just want to kill this. <laughs> Um, really? All right. Well, I'm going to block here. Don't really care to block that. Let's block this. And so this is 12, 13, 14, 15. Yeah, we can do that. I mean, there we go. Got the win, guys. Got the win. I think that was our third game. These games go quick, so I'm kind of losing track, but I believe that was our third game. Okay, so takeaways from this deck. Um, here's kind of what I'm thinking. Do I think this is the best thing to like ladder up in best of one? Probably not. I think Mono Red still kind of holds that title just because the games can go, I mean... You either lose very quick or you win very quick. And a lot of times you win very quickly because that's just, you know, a lot of decks on the ladder right now are people trying stuff out. Um, people playing Garuda decks or like Winota decks or, you know, any any of the tier one decks right now that people are trying with Akoria tend to be a bit slower, uh, which means you have, as a mono red deck, a very, very good chance of winning more percentage of the time. Um, the mono white deck can win just as quickly, but it's not as likely to. Um, you're not going to deal quite as much damage quite as quickly on that on this list. That being said, this survives um, games a little bit better than I think mono red does. So in a situation where you find yourself in a mirror match or something like that uh, with mono red, it's a little bit difficult because if you're just on the back foot or especially if you're just kind of on the draw, um, a lot of times you're going to lose uh, solely because the other deck's a little bit faster and they got the turn advantage. 
Um, with mono white, if you're against like a mono red deck, you're okay because if you can mitigate the threats in the beginning, you're able to gain the life back and hopefully win long term um, and draw that game out. And that's obviously not as good as, you know, or, or that is better than mono red in certain aspects. Um, both of these are very aggro decks. So when I talk about these, you do kind of get to interchange them a little bit, but they're very different styles of aggro decks. And I, I, I like the feel of this. I think Cub Warden in this list is insane. Um, Lurus, we really didn't get to see do its thing, uh, unfortunately, but I do see its place. Uh, it is only a one of in this list. I like it as a one of. You don't want too many of them, obviously, um, and you really want to continuously play threats with this deck. So I like not having too many, but uh, it does give you a way to recur uh, some of your like protection, life's bounty spells. Uh, gives you a, a way to recur your pride mates, like a lot of your heavy hitters. Um, so I think there's some some really good tech there with Luris, which I like a lot. Um, that being said, again, we didn't really get to see it. Cub Warden, we really got to see in the first video. So if you didn't check that out, please check it out there. Um, regardless, the feel of this deck, awesome. Absolutely love it. Would I play it more? For sure. This deck is sweet. I would definitely try more Cub Wardens. Um, might be a little bit too high on the curve. So just keep that in mind. Uh, it may not be the best thing because you're, you are trying to keep the curve as low as possible. Four is your max. Uh, and we've already got like what? Four three and three so or three and two so you're looking at like five cards uh with this list in the four drop slot if i'm not mistaken that can be a lot for this kind of deck so you just have to be careful with it regardless though this was a fun deck absolutely if you're interested in mono white please try this one out so the list is below you can you can pull it into uh arena if you'd like very very good so i enjoyed this hopefully you guys did too please check out all of our links down below i hope you're enjoying the new layout with a little bit more focus on just the gameplay uh, we really do appreciate the support, though, for you guys watching. Make sure as well, uh, if you're not entered in the Aquaria giveaway, you make sure you enter. Subscribe to the channel. Comment any video. doesn't matter which one. Comment on any video with hashtag Aquaria giveaway. We'll let you know you entered, uh, and then we will uh, choose the winner for a free Aquaria bundle on May 16th. That's the Saturday after uh, the set drops in paper. So thank you guys again. Really do appreciate it. I will see you hopefully very soon in the next gameplay video.